For a Sunday, no sweat is next. I'm a short change to look forward to a bit later. Absolutely true, Richard, but not before we've had the winner of the week for this. Nine nut delusions. Absolutely yes. true. Who is it? It's, you know who it is, it's Kayleigh Fry, because we're all excited here. Well it's Kayleigh Kay Fry from Kent, and you're ten years old. Lots of lovely things in here. Let's yes. start with this one, Richard. One of the reasons why we chose you as the weekly winner is because you like dressing up as Mrs Merton and telling her jokes. I love Mrs Merton. Oh, I do as well, love. I really think Mrs Merton's lovely, actually. Lovely. And what about this one? <laughs> That was rubbish, Mrs. Merton. I do apologise. <laughs> what about this one? Me and my brother act like Barbie and Ken. We could do that. Was that the way we were supposed to walk? Is that what we were trying to do there? I think so. <laughs> we could just be in ourselves, actually. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kelly. You have won nine prizes from our prize cupboard. Nine nutty prizes. I love our prize cupboard. It's just there's just toys everywhere. He's moved look. in there, actually. Yeah, Given up his flat and moved in. Little bed in the corner. It's great. Mm. Anyway, if you want to send us some nine nutty notions, you could be the weekly winner. Here's the address. Oh, yes. It is, of course. Nine nut delusion. P.O. Box 9989. London, W126. P.A. Oh, that's right. Oh, hold on, Andy. Uh, my, my crowd has arrived. What's that noise? Oh. My crowd has arrived oh, with the blue music no. on. Hi. Yes. The, Hi. They're your fans, are they, Richard? Hello. Yeah. Do you know, I've got to tell you. I tell you what's going on here. We've got no sweat coming up next, and he thinks he's a pop star, right? And I'm sure any minute now he's going to start singing. Right? Memories! I told you. Oh, those distant memories! I knew this was gonna happen. Of the way they were! I'm going. This is me going, Richard. No sweat, Angie. <laughs> memories! No sweat! Will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> idea how valuable it is? Damaged, is it? Hey guys, onwards and upwards. Gorgeous. Miles. Well, I don't mean his friend, do I? Do I? What a creep. He can creep over me any time he likes. Uh, mine, I believe, Lila Clutch. Oh, I say, Luce. He's been learning how blusher and eyeliner can make him look more sexy. I don't know what paper boys are coming to. Well, Chop Chop, my father will be wanting his evening Argus. The reason you and your mother left Norfolk, did, did you really do that? Uh, yeah. Do you form a teacher? Yeah. With a, with a concrete mixer? Yeah. Well, well it's all right now, though. Oh, good. Well, out of intensive care, anyway. <laughs> I hope you don't intend to do anything like that here. Huh? Currently, here at Peabody's, we pride ourselves on being a very friendly school. <laughs>
This is Jimmy. Jimmy Osman. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just moved to Brighton from Norfolk. Ooh. Now, who can tell me what bird Norfolk's famous for? Parrots! <laughs> yes, well, I'm sure you'll all make him feel very welcome. Quite enough of that, Jason Belcher. <laughs> Janice Cook, Carly Waghorn, stop fooling around! You're a dead fuggle! <laughs> and what are you laughing at? Gregory Fuggle, face the front, please. <laughs> I thought you moved in yesterday. Oh, got a lot of stuff. You will keep it down. You never know when the police are snooping. Hey, look, does everyone have their dinner in here or what? Yeah, unless you are. Hey? I'm a poor. Then you have to have a school dinner. Why? It's all part of the punishment. No. Yeah, you have to have your work sign after every lesson, do lines every break, and have a school dinner every lunchtime. Are you kidding me? That's why we're safe from Janice and Carly. They're on report. Of course. Right now, they're in a the school canteen. Tucking into diced carrots and gravy. I almost feel sorry for those guys, eh? Nah. No. Don't just scrap in the middle. Yes. Good, 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 good. Now, come on. Come on, Walker, get in there. Come panning around in that excellent. Good. Good. And you can have anything. Nah, I'm not hungry. A little crisp, if you like. Tough. Brent Walker, that is. Huh? Janice and Carly's to pick on him, good. too. Until he signed papers for Palace. He works for the Queen. Not Buckingham Palace, Crystal Palace. He's a schoolboy professional. Oh. Now Janice and Carly don't touch him. Now Janice and Carly can't touch him. Because every girl in year nine is always touching him first. I thought of becoming a schoolboy professional once. Yeah? Yeah, I couldn't do the necessary. What, school goals? No, sweat. Sweat. Don't take you seriously if you can't sweat. Oh. Those guys got it, mate. What do they do? Never heard of that condense. They sing, sing. Oh. They're millionaires. Not even old enough to do it. Do what? You know, legally anyway. Oh, drive, you mean? I thought about becoming a rock star once. Yeah? Yeah. You couldn't do the necessary? No. You have to be out of sweat to be a rock star. You have to be able to sing. Are you sure? Millionaires, eh? But we'd have no problems with Janice and Carly if we're in a band, eh? No, no. Better still, if we were in a band, I reckon I could. What? Nothing.
be no stopping him there, Carly. There'd be no stopping him. Uh, yeah. Ah! Wonderful. Yes, yeah, a very friendly skull. That's what everyone keeps telling me. It'd be really nice to know where you live. Yeah. It's, it's miles away. We're not in an hurry, are we, Carly? Well, we ain't got a lot of time. We're not in an hurry, are we, Carly? Yeah. Carly? April Winfrey's on in ten minutes. No, we ain't in an hurry. Get away! I've got no brains! Ah! 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 Yeah, I mean, no. Nah. Oh, thanks, Janice. Where's he gone? Where's Fuggle gone? <sighs> Straight down to the bottom of that hill. No brakes. <laughs> As for Jimmy Osman, tomorrow's another day. Hey. Yeah, and the day after tomorrow, that's another day too. Oh, we're getting at school tomorrow. He ain't going to school tomorrow. Are you sure? Yeah. Why, we scared him off. No, it's Saturday tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Janice? What? Oh, that mud on your jacket. What about it? You sure it's mud? Oh, Janice! It ain't mud! They're gone. They're mad. And bad. Very dangerous to know. Guess I owe you. What for? Dealing with them the way you did. It was an accident. The brakes were fixed. Or should I say, unfixed. And I got to deliver this to Lilac Lodge. Lilac? I thought Jimmy Osman was bad enough, but what sort of mother calls her daughter Lilac, for goodness sake? Oh, well, nothing I could do about it now. Of course there is, no swear. But what about... Just come up to the office. Did you keep all this stuff in his garage? Nah. My dad's gone. Oh, live with me mum. Did she let you? Well, I said to her, where else do you expect a guy to keep his Ferrari F40? Uh, yeah. So why did you have to move from Norfolk? Well, the police sort of advised it. All straight. They still look incredibly wet to me. <laughs> Are you young, fit and charismatic? Then we need you. Rock songs, we have them. Yes, Bog goes pop. What? That's what it says. Bob goes pop. What does that mean? I have no idea. You can soon find out. The marina, Saturday at 11. No way. It's a sign. A what? A sign pointing us towards our true destiny as millionaire rock singers. I said I can't sing. <laughs> Halfway there already. You reckon? No more hassle from Janice and Carling. No more paper round. I wouldn't have an excuse to visit Lyle at Lodge. You wouldn't need an excuse to go visit Lyle at Lodge. Fast cars, dosh, women will be yours. <laughs> Write a message in the sky, shower of neon lights Show you where I'm coming from, set it up for There's nothing left for me to say, so let's leave it at that And we'll just go our separate ways You don't understand, you don't understand You don't understand, you don't understand Gone by now. Janice Pup's got the attention span of a slug. Saturday, Marina, 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll be there. Hey, don't forget, you haven't got any brakes! Arrested. Oh, oh, oh. Loitering with intent. <laughs> oh no! Ah! You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. Jimmy Osmond and Gregory Fogel. We're young, fit, and charismatic. Join the others then. Okay. Jimmy. Come on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Jimmy. 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 Oh, okay, guys and gals, give it all you've got. Plenty of oomph, please, loves. What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? I lie in the morning. Give it some money. Yes, yes. Who the way? Who the way? Who the way? Pirates, remember? What should we do with a drunken sailor? Put some money into it. Put some money into it. What should we do with a drunken sailor? I lie in the morning. Who the way? Who the way? Who the way? Who the way? Jimmy, that song we were singing. Kinks, Baby Bird. What are you doing now? We need a name. We can't go around calling ourselves Jimmy Osmond and Gregory Fuggle, can we? The Spice Girls. You're crazy. That's what the Norfolk Police said. Why did you have to move? Well, it was all to do with my form tutor. Form tutor, a cement mixer, and a lorry load of stolen chocolate flakes. Then, of course, there was a business with my mum and MI5. Hey, you have to move around a lot when you've got a mum like mine. Cliff Richard. Rich Clifford. I tell you, I've lived everywhere in this country. Yeah? Don't believe me, do you? I believe you're quite handy when it comes to exercising the old North and South. Hey? North and South? Your mouth? It's Cockney, it's Cockney rhyming slang. North and South? What? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Hey? The name for our band, North and South. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Good. North and South. North and South. North and South. Anyway, you were going to say something about that um, pirate song we were singing. Oh. Do you want to release it on single or what? No. What then? Not the way you sing it all. I'm there. You said I got a high voice. And they have got high voices. They're girls. All that you did was love. That's good. That's very good. Who? What, what's her name in your paper round? Yeah, Lilac. Hey, isn't that what you said your name was? Lilac Somebody Lodge? What's the name of her house? Oh. What's her name then? I don't know. Well, go and ask her then. No! But you're half of that famous band North and South, aren't you? Yes, so you keep telling me. Better still, why don't you go ask her if she and her mate want to be in our band? Jimmy, no! Okay, I'll ask. Jimmy! <sighs> no sweat. Jimmy! Have you? 
autograph. Hey. You're half the famous band, North and South, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Your friend said. Hello. Excuse me. Can I have your autograph? Excuse I haven't got a pen. Use my lipstick. Well, Hello. it's my sister's actually. She's thirteen. Mind. Liam Gallagher signs his vest for his favourite fans. Oh. Just under the left armpit. No. What about your shirt? No. Your... No. Sign my English rough book, then. <laughs> Oi! What are you playing at? <laughs> Look at the bike window! Come back here! you're asking yourself is, are they behind the curtain? Well, you're going to have to wait until 11.25 next Sunday Memories. to find out. Oh, Richard, will you leave it? Oh, those... Richard, please. OK. Short change next this morning without him. Can't wait till Saturday morning.